For this video, I want to show you how to uh, check and adjust the valve clearance on a Kohler Courage XT uh, vertical shaft engine. And the engine is used on a uh, Toro Recycler walk behind lawnmower. We need to uh, rotate the engine by hand, so the uh, first step is to uh, secure the uh, blade stop or blade control bar in the disengaged position. And I'm going to be using a zip tie to do that, but you can also use. Um, uh, vice grips if you don't have any zip ties. Next remove the uh, spark plug wire and we're going to remove the spark plug but before you do that uh, make sure there's no grass clippings or dirt around the spark plug so it doesn't fall into the uh, cylinder when you remove the plug. I'm going to use compressed air to clean this area out. Later on we need to uh, rotate the engine by hand so uh, take your starter pull cord recoil assembly and pull on the uh, cord just to see which direction the in engine rotates and you can see that it's uh, clockwise and then because we need to rotate the engine by hand just to make it easier uh, remove this recoil assembly by removing these three 10 millimeter uh, nuts. and then set this aside. Now we're ready to remove the valve cover but before you do that just make sure that there's no dirt or debris um, around the cover that can fall into the valve train when you remove the cover. So to get this uh, valve cover off remove these four bolts here. After you get your uh, the four valves removed from the valve cover, sometimes these covers will stick and you can take a rubber mallet and just uh, lightly tap it to break it free. And then uh, once you do that, you can just pull it off, revealing your uh, valve train. Uh, to check valve clearance or make an adjustment, the piston has to be at top dead center on the compression stroke. Um, the way that I'm going to know where the piston is, is I'm going to use a screwdriver a long one. I'm going to gently insert it into the spark plug hole and as I manually rotate the engine uh, the position of the screwdriver will tell me where the piston is and uh, the valves will tell me uh, which stroke the piston is on. This is my intake valve and this is my exhaust valve. So I'm going to manually rotate the engine um, and the, this screwdriver is going to move in and out along with the piston and then I'm going to watch the valves. You can see the exhaust valve opening up, so I know I'm on the exhaust stroke. The piston will be moving out, pushing the screwdriver out. And then my ne the next stroke is the intake stroke, so the intake valve is going to open up. Piston will move down. Screwdriver will be moving into the engine. And then my next stroke is the compression stroke. Um, and then I'll just stop when the piston is all the way out at uh, top dead center and I'll know that because the screwdriver will move all the way out and start to change uh, direction. So it's right there at that farthest point. So that is, uh, the piston is at top dead center on the compression stroke. The uh, correct valve clearance for both the um, intake and exhaust valve is three to five thousandths of an inch um, and what that means is that should be the clearance between the uh, rocker and the valve stem on both the intake and exhaust valve so I'm going to pick the feeler gauge right in the middle which is four thousandths and see how it feels um, in between the rocker and the valve stem you just want it you just want to feel a light drag when you move the uh, feeler gauge back and forth you don't want it to bind And uh, yeah, I can't I can't fit the four thousandths of an inch, so I'm gonna try three thousandths. And even that is too tight, so that needs to be adjusted. I'll try the four thousandths on the intake. Same thing, and three thousandths. same thing so I need to adjust both the intake and exhaust valve. Um, the way that you do that uh, this is your jam nut and all this nut does is it keeps this they call this a rocker pivot it keeps this from turning. The rocket pivot is 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 what uh, changes the clearance between the rocker and the valve stem so 
you need to uh, loosen up this jam nut and then uh, either tighten or loosen this rocker pivot to change the uh, clearance between the rocker and the valve stem. Alright, so I'm going to adjust the uh, intake valve first. Um, take your 14 millimeter wrench, um, hold the rocker pivot, and take a 10 millimeter socket and loosen up the jam nut. Then take your feeler gauge, place it in between the rocker arm and valve stem, and adjust this uh, rocker pivot until you get the right clearance. Uh, tighten the rocker pivot to decrease clearance and loosen it to increase clearance. And you just want a light drag on that feeler gauge when you um, move it back and forth. Uh, now take your take your 10 millimeter socket and tighten down this jam nut while holding the rocker pivot but don't tighten it very tight just just a little bit but right there now take your keep your wrench on the rocker pivot and uh, see how it tightened up on me back off this rocker rocker pivot until I get the right clearance again Which is about, about right there. Then take your torque wrench and torque down this jam nut while holding the rocker pivot to 84 inch pounds. Whoops, hold on, I gotta adjust this torque wrench. It's right there. and then recheck your your clearance and that's perfect just got a it's got it's a snug fig uh, fit but it's not binding when I move the uh, feeler gauge back and forth so now I'm going to work on the exhaust valve uh, take your 14 millimeter wrench hold the rocker pivot and loosen up the jam nut let's take your feeler gauge uh, four thousandths of an inch place it in between the rocker arm and the the valve stem and adjust that rocker pivot until you get a, a light drag on the feeler gauge. Then I'm going to just lightly tighten this jam nut and recheck my clearance and turn the rocker pivot until I get the right clearance. It's about right there. Take your torque wrench and tighten down the jam nut to 84 inch pounds. And recheck the clearance. Sometimes during the process of uh, loosening, loosening and tightening these jam nuts and, and uh, loosening and tightening the rocker pivot, these rocker arm studs here will come loose. You don't want to adjust the valves with these uh, these uh, rocker arm studs uh, not properly tightened. And the way that you deal with that is uh, uh, take your jam nut off and remove this rocker pivot. and remove the rocker arm leave the push rod there and then you can take a 12 millimeter socket and tighten these studs down to um, 120 inch pounds just make sure that they're tight before you, uh, you adjust your valves um, then put your rocker arm back on reattach your rocker pivot and reattach the jam nut and then you can readjust the valve which I'll do right now. Insert your 4000 feeler gauge and then lightly tighten the, the jam nut recheck Just want a light drag about right there. 
and then retighten the jam nut to 84 inch pounds. And then check your which is good. So that's how you adjust the valves and um, how you tighten the uh, rocker arm uh, stud down on a uh, Kohler Courage XT engine. When you reinstall your valve cover, uh, Kohler always recommends that you um, uh, replace the valve cover gasket whenever you remove the valve cover. And when you tighten up your bolts, do it in a cross pattern like one, two, three, four. And uh, the correct torque specs for this, uh, the bolts in the valve cover are um, 71 inch pounds. If you've got any questions, um, leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching.